Frederick the First, Holy Roman Emperor. Frederick the First was the Holy Roman Emperor from 1155 until his death 35 years later. Frederick was born in 1122 in Hagenau to Frederick the Second Duke of Swabia and Judith of Bavaria. He was called Barbarossa, which literally t translated to Redbeard in Italian. His German name was Rothbard, which has the same meaning. Frederick descended from the two leading families in Germany, the Hohenstaufen dynasty and the House of Wealth, making him an acceptable choice for the empire's prince electors. He was considered to be one of the greatest emperors of the Holy Roman Empire. He learned to write, hunt and use weapons, but could neither read nor write, and was unable to speak Latin. In 1147 he joined his uncle King Conrad III on his campaign for the Second Crusade, going against his own father's wishes. Before he departed with his uncle he married Adelaine of Vorburg. Also, his father died, making Frederick the Duke of Schwabia. Seven weeks later, the German Crusader army departed from Regensburg. In August 1147, while crossing the Byzantine Empire, a sick crusader was robbed and killed. Conrad ordered Frederick to avenge him. The Duke of Schwabia captured and executed the robbers and demanded the return of the stolen money. A few weeks later, on 8th September, Frederick and Wolf VI were among the few German crusaders spared from a flood that destroyed the main camp. They had encamped on a hill away from the main army, which is why they were spared. The army reached Constantinople the following day. Conrad III attempted to lead the army overland across Anatolia. But he was constantly harassed by Turkish attacks near Doroleum. He decided to turn back, which caused his rearguard to be totally annihilated. Conrad sent Frederick ahead to inform King Louis VII of France of the disaster and asked for his help. The French and Germans then advanced together. When Conrad fell ill at Christmas, he returned to Constantinople by ship with his main followers, including Frederick. With Byzantine ships and money, the German army arrived in Acre in 1148 after Easter. Conrad and Frederick visited Jerusalem, where Frederick praised the charitable works of the Knights Hospitaller. He took part in the council that was held at Palmaria on 24th June, where it was decided to attack Damascus. The Crusaders had 50,000 men, while the numbers of the Muslim forces are unknown. The Crusaders decided to attack Damascus from the west, where they had a secure supply line. But they later decided to move to the eastern side of the city, which was less heavily fortified but had much less food and water. Muslim reinforcements arrived and cut off the Crusaders' route to their previous position. The siege was abandoned and the entire Crusader army retreated back to Jerusalem. On the 8th September, the German army sailed out of Acre. Frederick arrived in Germany in April 1149 after passing through Bulgaria and Hungary. When Conrad died in February 1152, Frederick and Prince Bishop of Bamberg were the only people by his side. Both asserted afterwards that Conrad had in full possession of his mental powers, handed the royal insignia to Frederick and wanted him to succeed as King of Germany. Frederick eagerly pursued the crown and at Frankfurt in 1152, the kingdom's prince the electors designed him as the next German king. Several days later, he was crowned king of the Romans in Aachen. When Frederick Barbarossa succeeded his uncle in 1152, he only had real control over the duchies of Schwabia and Franconia. 
By the time Frederick Bolt assumed the title of Holy Roman Emperor, it was little more than a propaganda slogan with little other meaning. Barbarossa was eager to restore the empire to the position it had occupied under Charlemagne and Otto I. He intervened in the Danish civil war between Sven III and Waldemar I of Denmark and began negotiations with the Eastern Roman Emperor Manuel I Commodus. In March 1153, Frederick concluded the Treaty of Constance with the Pope wherein he promised in return his coronation to defend the papacy and to make no peace with King Roger II of Sicily or any other enemies of the Church. Without the consent of Pope Eugene III, and Pope Eugene regained control of the city of Rome. In 1154, King Frederick began his Italian campaigns. His plan was to launch a campaign against the Normans under King William I of Sicily. He almost immediately encountered resistance in Italy. He managed to obtain submission from Milan. He successfully besieged Ortona in February of 1155, raising it to the ground in April. He moved on to Pavia where he received the Iron Crown and the title of King of Italy on the 24th of April. He soon approached Rome where the new Pope Adrian IV was struggling with the forces of the Republican city commune led by Arnold of Brescia. Frederick Barbarossa and his troops stunned Arnold and his forces and captured him. Arnold was then hanged for treason and rebellion. Frederick received the Pope in his tent where he kissed the Pope's feet and expected to receive the traditional kiss of peace. However, Frederick declined to hold the Pope's stirrup by leading him to the tent and that is why the Pope refused to give the kiss. After a day's negotiation, Frederick agreed to the required rituals. After that, he and the Pope went to the Vatican. The next day, on the 18th June 1155, Pope Adrian crowned Frederick the Holy Roman Emperor at St. Peter's Basilica. The real Romans revolted and Frederick had to put down the revolts, leading to the death of thousands Romans, and many more were injured. His year-long absence from Germany meant he was forced to put off his planned campaign against the Normans of Sicily. On his way north, he attacked Spoleto and encountered an ambassador of the Byzantine Emperor, who showered Frederick with gifts. When Frederick returned to Germany, he had to quell a rebellion in Bavaria. Later, the duchy was transferred from Henry II, Josomir Gott, to Frederick's formidable younger cousin, Henry the Lion, Duke of Saxony. Henry II, Josomir Gott, was named Duke of Austria in compensation for his loss of Bavaria. In 1156 at Würzburg, Frederick married Beatrice of Burgundy, thus adding the county of Burgundy to his realm. Frederick Barbarossa declared himself the sole Augustus of the Roman world, ceasing to recognize the Byzantine Emperor Manuel I in Constantinople. Frederick's return to Germany in 1155 forced Pope Adrian IV to come to terms with King William of Sicily, he granted William territories that Frederick viewed as his own domain. In this and the fact that the papal legates implied that the imperial crown was a gift from the papacy angered Frederick. So in June 1158, Frederick set out upon a second Italian campaign, accompanied by Henry the Lion and his Saxon army. This expedition resulted in the revolt and capture of Milan. The death of Pope Adrian IV in 1159 led to the election of two rival popes, Alexander III and the anti-pope Victor IV. Both sought the support of the Holy Roman Emperor. Frederick was busy with the siege of Crema. After the siege was concluded, with the burning of the city, Frederick wanted Alexander to appear before the emperor in Pavia to accept the imperial decree. Alexander refused and Frederick recognized Victor IV as legitimate pope in 1160. 
Pope Alexander just excommunicated both. In 1162, Frederick wanted the help of King Louis VII of France to decide who should become the one true Pope. When Louis neared the meeting site, he became aware that Frederick had stacked the votes for Alexander. Louis decided not to attend the council. As a result, the issue was not resolved at the time. Milan rebelled against the emperor. Frederick dealt with it and the city surrendered on the 6th March in 1162. Much of Milan was destroyed three weeks later on the emperor's orders. Milan's fate caused many northern Italian city-states to submit to the Germans. Barbarossa returned to Germany in 1162. A number of neighboring princes grew wary of Henry's power and influence, but Frederick prevented the situation to further escalate. He also severely punished the citizens of Mainz for the rebellion against Archbishop Arnold. In 1163 he returned to Italy, however his plans to conquer Sicily were ruined by the formation of a powerful league against him brought together mainly because they opposed imperial taxes. After the death of Antipope Victor IV, Frederick started supporting Antipope Pascal III, but he was soon driven from Rome, which led to the return of Pope Alexander in 1165. In the meantime, Frederick was focused on restoring peace in the Rhineland. In 1166, Frederick returned to Italy in his fourth Italian campaign because he heard rumors that Pope Alexander and the Byzantine Emperor Manuel I wanted to join in an alliance. He also wanted to help Pascal V to become the only Pope. This time Henry the Lion didn't accompany Frederick Barbarossa because he was busy with his neighbors. In 1167, Frederick began besieging Ancona because they sided with the Eastern Roman Emperor. He gained a great victory in the Battle of Montepulciano. In light of this victory, he lifted the siege and hurried to Rome. In Rome, he had his wife crowned empress and also received a second coronation from Pascal III. His campaign was halted by the sudden outbreak of an epidemic forcing the emperor back to Germany where he remained for six years. He used that time to organize the Holy Roman Empire and to have better relations with England, France and the Byzantine Empire. He made his younger son Frederick V the new Duke of Schwabia in 1167 and made his oldest son Henry co-emperor in 1169. In 1169, Milan was restored. In 1174, Frederick made his fifth expedition to Italy. Frederick was opposed by the pro papal Lombard League, which consisted of Venice, Sicily, and Constantinople. When the northern Italian cities inflicted a defeat on Frederick at Alessandria in 1175, the European world was shocked. Frederick requested help from Henry the Lion, who refused, leading to Frederick suffering a heavy defeat at the Battle of Legano near Milan in 1176, where he was wounded and for some time was believed to be dead. In 1176, the Emperor was forced to make peace with Pope Alexander III and the Lombard League. Frederick had to recognize Alexander III as Pope. The emperor acknowledged the pope's sovereignty over the papal states and in return Alexander acknowledged the emperor's overlordship of the imperial church. Frederick did not forgive Henry the Lion for not coming to his aid in 1176. Frederick had him tried in front of a court of bishops and princes and Henry was stripped of his lands and declared an outlaw. Frederick invaded Saxony with an imperial army to force Henry to surrender. Henry was abandoned by his allies and spent three years in exile at the court of his father-in-law Henry II of England and Normandy before being allowed back to Germany. Pope Gregory VIII was more concerned with troubling reports from the Holy Land 
than with the post struggle with Barbarossa. Around November 11, 87, Frederick received letters from the Crusader states urging for his help. In 1188, he took the Crusader war. His second son, the Duke of Schwabia, did the same. The eldest son, Henry VI, was to remain behind in Germany as regent. Because Frederick had signed the Treaty of Friendship with Saladin in 1175, he notified Saladin of the termination of their alliance. It is said that Frederick organized a grand army of 100,000 men, including 20,000 knights, but this is most likely an exaggeration. It's more likely that he had something between 12,000 and 15,000 men, including 3,000 to 4,000 knights. Barbarossa personally asked the Hungarian Prince Giza, brother of King Bela III of Hungary, to join the crusade. The king agreed and the Hungarian army of 2,000 men led by Giza escorted the emperor's forces. Their army was victorious at the Battle of Philomelium and defeated the Turks in the Battle of Iconium, eventually reaching as far as Sicilian Armenia. This concerned Saladin and he sent troops to the north to block the Germans. In 1190, Emperor Frederick Barbarossa tried to take a shortcut along the Salaf River, where he drowned. There are different accounts of how he drowned, but some say he decided to cool down or go for a swim, but was too exhausted and drowned. Frederick's death caused a mass desertion of German troops. His son Frederick VI of Schwabia carried on with a third of the army, approximately 5,000 men. Barbarossa's flesh was interred in the church of St. Peter in Antioch. His bones in the Cathedral of Tyre and his heart and inner organs in St. Paul's Church in Tarsus. Frederick's death left the Crusader army under the control of the rival kings Philip II of France and Richard Lionheart. Philip later abandoned the siege and Richard Lionheart was the only one left to deal with Saladin.